dance as a Kenyan, you need to do your best so that when you are no more, you have something for people to talk about you. With those many remarks, Honorable Speaker, I want to wish the members of Kiamba God's grace during this time of mourning, even as they put to rest this important son of the soil. May he, Honorable Speaker, may his soul rest in eternal peace. Amen. The Honorable Dr. Robert Pukose, member for Endebes. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, on behalf of the great people of Endebes, myself and my family, I want to join Honorable Kawanjiko to send condolences to the people of Kiamba following the death of the Honorable Stanley Munga Kidunguri. Honorable Speaker, when I go to the university in 1990, the landmark along the university way is the Lillian Towers. And I think it's one of those uh, landmarks that will remain for a long time in Nairobi. And that is something that uh, we will always remember Stanley Munga Kidunguri for having been a pioneer in the hotel industry and set up a hotel that has stood the test of time. So as the people of Kiamba lay him to rest this, this day, I want to join them and say may his soul rest in eternal peace. The Honorable Abraham Kirwa, member for Mosop. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, allow me also to join the members and people of Kiamba as we pass condolences on behalf of the people of Mosop as well uh, for the passing of uh, Mr. Stanley Kidunguri. This is a man who really rose from humble backgrounds to become something very big in this country. This is a gentleman who was born out of this country in Tanzania and later on came back to Kenya, who lost his own father at the age of 13, and the mother really struggled to raise him up. He was raised by a single mother who really gave the best to this young man and became somebody. He later on went out of the country where he was in the U.S. and later came back to serve this country. This gentleman, uh, Mr. Stanley Kidunguri, is somebody that we ought to really uh, appreciate what he did. In honor of his own mother, he named Lillian Towers after the mother because of what the mother did. So today I want to join the people of Kiampa to actually pass my condolences to the family and wish them well, even at this moment, as we send him off, and, uh, and pray that uh, God, in his own time, will be able to sustain and keep the family. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honorable 